welcome everybody so i hope you are doing well so today we will continue database management system gbms and today we will start something new so er model or the entity relationship model so we will start from the basic concepts so first of all let us see what is an er model so the entity relationship model is a model that is used for design and representation of relationships between data okay so it is a means of identifying entities and and represent how data are related to each other or the, how the entities are related to each other so the er model defines the conceptual view this is important and like it works around the real world entities and associations among them or the relations it also describes the relationships at view level the er model is considered for a good option for designing database so what happens is Suppose uh, if a person doesn't actually know the in-depth in working of a DVMS, so the ER model is designed for them. So they can like understand by the pictorial representation and get an idea of how the database actually is and how it is working and how the entities are related to each other. So that basically defines or the main like goal for the ER model is that. Okay, that is the important thing. So we'll see now like nicely how what is entity attributes and relations so starting from entity so entity an entity is a thing or object in real world that is distinguishable from all other objects okay so an entity can be a real world object either animate or inanimate uh, that can be easily identified well, okay and an ent entity set suppose an entity set is a collection of similar types of entities. Okay, this must be of must have the same properties and attributes. Okay, so now moving on, let us see what actually is an attribute. So an entity is represented by a set of properties or attributes. Okay, so the entities are represented by the means of their properties. Okay, so this property, this is the most important word to define an attribute. Okay. So they are descriptive properties possessed by each member of an entity set. Okay. And so now let us see there's the different types of attributes. Okay. Starting from simple attribute, composite, okay, and all that. So the simple attributes. So simple attributes are atomic values, so which cannot be further divided. Okay. Suppose a phone, phone number is of 10 digits, so it cannot be further divided. Okay. you cannot reduce it okay so composite values suppose uh, I have already I can explain this composite value so now composite attribute suppose uh, we have an entity called name okay so now name can have like many attributes like first name middle name last name so these all are like composite attributes so this is an attribute has an, an entity having more than one like attribute for it that is composite attribute now let us see what is derived attribute so derived attribute is something like this suppose uh, the age of a employed is given and suppose age is like 30 year in 2018 so from this we can like calculate what was his birth year and birth date something like that so this will come under the derived attribute so single value attribute means uh, like only one value is present for that entity like uh, suppose if you are using a unique identification number something like that for an employee so that that will be only one so only one okay and multi value attribute suppose a user can or a user anybody can have like different phone numbers so that is a multi value attribute in the later videos we will see uh, what exactly is relationships mapping cardinalities and keys and all kind of stuff so if you have any problems up till now you can just comment in the comment section and if you did like the video so like it share it subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching it.